Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to install TeamViewer on Windows 11. TeamViewer is a very good software which you can use for a remote desktop. Even if you are from a different country or different continent, doesn't matter. You just need to have internet access on the both computers so you can easily remotely access your computer. So click on TeamViewer download, uh, search for TeamViewer download in the Google and you will find a uh, team viewer download option click on the team viewer windows once you download you can see here everything like almost all platforms they are providing the software whether it's macbook or linux chrome os doesn't matter but right now i'm using a windows computer so just click on the windows or it will automatically detect the windows normally so um, if it doesn't detect you can go with the um, options you will have two options 32 bit and 64 bit i have a 64 bit computer so i downloaded the 64 bit we will have to wait to finish it's like 35 mb maximum uh, as of the present version and once you downloaded the team viewer you can easily run it on a on a computer and you will also need to have team viewer on another computer remote machine so that they can access your computer and you can ask, access their computer with the um, team viewer id and the password or uh, preset passwords or temporary passwords anyway so click on the setup file which you have already downloaded and close this one let's wait for it to come up so here you have a couple of options uh, run only this only one time we are going with the default installation as we are permanently installing the software which will the installation is nothing just need to click next next and finish that's it so it's uh, installing the program and you can see that on the left side the icon has been created and you will have to accept the um, you are under dpa agreements because some countries like european union countries and uh, some other countries they have some uh, restrictions and custom agreements to be accepted so that's not a problem um, now we, when we go back to the team viewer you can see here your id is there password is there this is the one you need to provide to the remote person if they want to connect and you can also uh, connect to another computer by getting their id and the password so we'll have to provide the id then connect uh, it will ask for the password then you can provide the password and just make sure you are ready to connect in the bottom left side the green should be there if it's red which means no internet access thank you for watching guys subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye